So apparently people are using AI now to make adoptables and getting money from it. However, they didn't actually draw these images, so it doesn't legally belong to them. Therefore, I can steal them, and so can you. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Bug-Eyed, and if you're not, then welcome back. These are the three AI adoptables I have chosen to redesign and make my own in this video. The first one is this sort of evil bunny girl. I will be honest, this one was sort of a bad choice because she isn't really my style, but it's too late now. I had a lot of trouble coloring this one. At first, I wanted to color her in this really well blended out shaded look, but I hated it, so I just completely redid it. And in the end, it made me take four hours on this drawing, which is way longer than what it should have been, especially for the outcome of it. This character gives me kind of a cursed demon vibe, um, however, I didn't really go that way with her. I ended up going more of like this witch wizard type of look. Overall, her design isn't the worst, but it could be better. On to the next character, which is this eyeball girl. <laughs> She's covered in eyes. Um, she ended up being my favorite out of the three. I couldn't really decide if the weird black blob thing on her head was a hat or a parasite, um, especially since it leads down into that goopy stuff behind her. Um, so I made two versions. The first one on the far left is her wearing it as a hat, and then the drawing on the far right is a version of if it were a parasite. I love her colors and her entire vibe. I have zero complaints about this design. She is definitely my favorite out of the three. On to the next adoptable, which is this type of hypno girl. First things first, although I did include it in the sketch, I ended up getting rid of that giant cape because it just, I couldn't see it working with her new design that I had in mind, and it was taking up way too much space and way too much attention and taking away from the actual character. She is extremely colorful, and I didn't want to take away that from her too after already taking her cape, because then it would have gotten to the point where you can't really see the resemblance of these two characters. I tried my best to keep the outfit underneath the cape the same, or at least similar. Um, I definitely wanted to keep her shoes and her socks because I just absolutely love them and I really like how they turned out in my redesign of her. This one ended up being my least favorite out of the three, but she's not horrible. I mean, she's still cute and she the drawings aren't bad, it's just not my taste. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so, so much for watching, and feel free to name these three girls in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!